To display the channels panel, go to Window Menu and Channels. You've got here the channels. Now, if you're using an RGB document, you'll see RGB, red, green, and blue. If you're using CMYK, you will see CMYK, cyan, magenta, etc. Now, I'm just going to quickly go over here to the gradient tool. Now, if I apply RGB, you just get that effect. Got obviously a gradient there that I've using. However, what you can do, you can go to the red channel. So let's just go back again, go to the red channel and just apply it just to that channel. And you can see the effect there. Unfortunately, very, very small thumbnails. They haven't updated that for years. It'd be nice if you could have a bigger view. However you can't. So you've got that. You can then go to the green channel, apply it again in different ways. And you can see the effect there. And then go to the blue and apply again. And you can create super colorful designs simply by using red, green, and blue. And of course, the blend mode is different at this point. However, what you can also do, of course, is you can undo all that. So go all the way back to the start. You can also use it in image and mode. And there's other options, of course. You've got here 16-bit and also 32-bit. So just go for 32-bit, exactly the same. Go to the red, apply it again, and you can get even more wonderful colors just using that approach. Again, using green, and then go to blue. You've got that. And then, of course, go back to RGB, and you've got that. However, of course, only complication is if you want to go back again, you've got, unfortunately, image menu and then go down to mode and 8-bit and it will come up with an option here for HDR toning, which does offer many more also creative opportunities there. But I'm just going to click OK with that and I think that looks great. Now, what you can also do is go to the red channel and you can also apply brushes or shapes and much, much more. So you don't have to just use just gradients, obviously I was using gradients as an example, but again, red channel, just apply it like that. But of course, you have to use pixels. If you don't use pixels, then obviously it's just not gonna work. But you can go to the green one, so apply it again, and go to that one, and apply it again, and you can see the result there. You can create all kinds of color combinations. But also, you can apply effects as well. So filter, and go down to blur, Gaussian blur, just apply any sort of effect like that, so click OK, and that's just to the red channel. You can leave the green, the blue untouched, and then go back again to RGB, and you can see the blur has been applied to that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.